So this is the video for how to put in a double-decker bus window. The gasketing is put all the way around with the seam at the top. We put the seam at the top because that's how they did it for the English buses, so we figured they must know something we don't, so we put the seam at the top. As you can see, there are two metal pieces coming out. They're like a metal wire coming out from around the seam in the gasket. So this is the gasket seam, and this is where the wire is inserted all the way around and overlapping. So the wire and handle you see on the right came from the left hand side and the wire and um, handle that you see on the left came all the way around and crisscrossed and is now on the right hand side. And Mark is making sure that it's all nice and tucked in there. And the next thing we're going to do is move the ladder. Scraping as much paint as he possibly can <laughs> off the edge of the window. We want to get as much room as we can to get that gasket in, so we've taken it down to the original red. And in some cases we've taken it all the way down to the aluminum. So this is the window. Mark comes up the ladder and inserts the bottom of the window in first. This is important because there's a little, uh, almost like an indentation on the bottom of the window rim where it's not on the top. This was the mistake that we made and this is the most important thing. Let me help. I have to get his hand controls his pulling control pull, wire pullers through and then he gets the bottom in first. Once the bottom's in then he can start to pull the wires around the gasket and the window will actually pull itself in but somebody has to hold the top. Alright? Hold on let me go help him. You need a rubber mallet to get that bottom in but once you get the bottom really securely in You're in good shape. See what it looks like? Okay, now look at the top. The top, there's quite a bit of space. Let me show you the other end. Okay, don't expect the top to go right, in. So Amelia holds the outside. And then Mark takes the screwdriver and pries it, the gasketing, over the metal edge. It takes a little bit to get it started. I know we have such advanced tools for this, but this seems to work the best for us. Make sure that you keep pressing the bottom of the window in. Okay, so now both of the strings are out, and he wraps them up, and he pulls. I know. Oh, shoot. Hey, Deb, I'm going to need you. Okay. All right. Once he gets the bottom on, then you have to press the window down in order to get it into its... To, to get it down low enough. Go. All right, now we have to stop so I can press it down. Okay. We're doing it. You're doing it? Okay. Mark's doing it. He takes the top and they literally job, just man. press it down All right. to okay, get it yeah. in. Push this side in. Can. Okay. Then they're going to. Down low, yeah. She bangs on the gasket. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me get this ready to go. Can you hold it close? Pull it up? There you go. As he pulls, 
she pushes. Tapping in while Mark's pulling. Don't hit the glass. Okay. Okay, and then we have to wiggle it back down again. We gotta pull this down, Mark. Okay. Can we pull it back down? Good. Amelia, did you get it down? Okay. Okay. okay let's do this side now. All right. So now, hold on, Amelia. That's good. Hold on, Amelia. Let's do this side. So now you're about this much in on the top. And now we're going to do the other side. You see how much space you have at the top. So this is the right. You just have to go back and forth and slowly work it in. Make okay, sure Maria. if you okay. hit, you only hit the gasket. Okay, as you can kind of see, the gasket on the outside is twisting out towards the outside of the window. So Mark has to insert a screwdriver and pry it and twist it back so that he can pull the wire through. On top of that, All right, I know these are a bunch of little I poured it on it and it pieces, but we're going to try and stick it all together. Uh, from the swans. All right. Sorry, I'm going to come on this way. Come on up here, Amelia, to the top. Hit the top up here. There you go. Ah, right. nice. All right, let's do the other side. Hold this, please, so it doesn't unravel. My job is to hold the. Um, my job is to hold the wire so it doesn't unravel. Mom, why are you okay. Watch my finger. Ouch! <laughs> did you videotape that? Unfortunately, I did videotape that. That's okay. This is almost in. It takes a while, but it's so much easier okay, to do it good. this way than to try and put the top in first. Okay, here. Oh, I'm going to come over here, hon. I don't know if you can even see how it pulls around. Okay, let me try and stay this way. You gotta pull across, remember, Mark? There you go. This box out of the way. Which one do I need to hold? You got them both now? Next time, Amelia, don't bang it in so quickly because I think it gets jammed if you push, start banging it in too quickly. Amelia's being a really good sport because she's out in the rain. And you just got to sit there and wiggle and work it in. We've tough. noticed that if you pull the wire towards the center of the window, it seems to work better on the sides and the top, especially the curves. 
and voila, we have a window, one bus now window. Now you can bang it in a little bit, Amelia. She bangs all around the edges of the frame. Nice. Mark pulls on the frame just to kind of get it seated in there better when he gets done. And it'll settle a little bit. You can tell that it's slightly, this one is slightly higher than the one next to it. But that's also just because it's the bus. The whole window's a little higher. Okay. I hope that was helpful. Thanks. Bye.